Rice is one of the most important crop in the world, feeding billions of people. It's a staple food for many countries and its production is crucial for food security, but there's a major threat to rice crops. Weeds. Weeds can choke out rice plants reducing its yields and affecting its quality. If you don't know when to weed on your rice fields, don't worry. In this video, you are going to discover the right time to weed on your rice fields. So stay with me until the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Weed control on dry land rice is indeed an interesting and crucial aspect of agriculture. When to weed on dry land rice field is very important. Weeding your rice fields at the right time ensures optimal rice growth and maximize yields. Weeds compete with rice crops for resources like water, nutrients, and sunlight, potentially reducing yield and overall crop health. Effective weed management is vital for maximizing rice crop production and preventing other issues like pest and disease spread. So what's the ideal time for weeding on dry land rice? The ideal time for weeding on dry land rice depends on various factors. These factors include types of rice varieties planted, soil type, climate, and the type of weed species present in your rice field. Generally, weed control should be carried out during the early stages of rice growth because rice crops are most vulnerable to weed competition during this stage. In dry land rice farming, the critical period of weed control is typically between 10 to 20 days and 30 to 40 days after planting. You can start controlling weeds during the first 10 to 20 days, and your second weeding should be on the 30 to 40 days. During these periods, weeds can outcompete your rice crops for water, nutrients, and sunlight, which are most needed by the rice crop. Therefore, it is essential to implement effective weed control measures during this critical periods. The type of weeds present on the rice field also plays a crucial role in determining the timing of weed control. For example, if the field is infested with broadleaf weeds, early weed control measures may be necessary to prevent weeds from reproducing seeds. On the other hand, if the field is dominated by grassy weeds, weed control may be delayed until the rice crop is more established. Several methods can be employed for weed control in dryland rice, including cultural, mechanical, and chemical control. Cultural control methods involves modifying crop practices to favor rice growth over weed growth. For example, Adjusting the planting space can help to reduce weed populations. Mechanical control methods involve using tools such as hand weeding or using weeders to remove weeds. Chemical control methods involve applying herbicides to kill weed. Integrated weed management is a holistic approach that combines cultural, mechanical, and chemical control methods to manage weeds effectively. Integrated weed management involves identifying the weed species present, determining their growth stages, and selecting the most appropriate control methods. This approach can help to reduce herbicide use, minimize the development of resistant weeds, and promote sustainable rice production. So if you noticed unwanted plants in your rice field, grab your tools and start controlling them before they outcompete your rice plants so you can enjoy a bountiful rice harvest and quality rice. If you discover new things on weed control for dryland rice, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share this video. See you next time.